Hello Leo and welcome to your March reading. So, I uh, meditated on your energy, laid down the first layer of cards and I also uh, pulled out, uh, I pull out a card from uh, a deck I have with all major arcanas just to get the major idea, energy for you this month. And what I got, I got two cards. I got the Empress and uh, I got the Empress a couple of times until now and so I thought well is this a fluke or what so I asked spirit I'm gonna pull another one and they gave me the Sun so that's like a big yes yes it's the Empress Sun it's Leo even if uh, back then in when the depictions were like that the Sun was Gemini uh, this was before the Golden Dawn, where they associated the sun with uh, more of the Leo energy. So, anyway. Uh, okay, so the Empress. This is about your capacity to create, to uh, allow abundance, to love and to be loved unconditionally. Venus itself, it's the feminine... <laughs> and all of that okay so what spirit wanted to talk about so that means this is a bit we're going to keep this in mind for uh, the reading first card that came out is the ace of pentacle so right away here we have this potential potential sent by the divine after that I have temperance so that tells me that um, for you to actually grab that potential, there was some maturing of the waters to happen. Now is the divine timing. It's right in the middle, temperance. Uh, divine timing in a sense that now maybe you are ready or mature enough to be able to take that uh, coin. After that, I have the five of swords this is venus in aquarius and here we have venus uh with the empress you know so um a harmonized venus in aquarius it is the capacity to bring in abundance and love and uh, all of what we value uh, using our mind uh, but when there's a distortion here, uh, it's almost like uh, either sabotaging ourselves or, um, you know, um, using our mind to defeat either us or the others. Uh, when it comes to receiving uh, love, abundance and all of that. So... Uh, the way I see what is coming down is that I think you are stopping this. The maturing, the experience that you've had until now, the, that kind of slow process of uh, temperance here, uh, seeing the bigger picture of Sagittarius, uh, the sun symbol and the forehead of temperance, as we see it here. Um the inner understanding of uh, what we live with the triangle in his heart I don't know if you can see but that is the manifestation in our 3D world the shape of things and uh, it's on his chest on his heart chakra he has the sun here uh, showing like the bigger vision the illumination uh, that's Archangel Michael and slowly uh, doing the alchemic process of purification of the waters that means maturing emotionally through experiences giving it giving our reality a different shape and a different vision of it and uh, here you are going to close a cycle so i think you are actually readjusting the five of sword so under our ace of pentacle I have the King of Wands and the Eight of Wands. So that's you. 
your masculine, that thing that came, it kind of uh, moves were made. These are the arrows of love, uh, you, your actions. Under that, the Pope, discernment, commitment, it all was part of it. Your vision of what is commitment. Um, commitment is not a jail sentence. It is something that has to benefit all parties. Uh, that's the discernment in the commitment of the Pope. The Pope also um, is the one that applies spiritual knowledge to the 3D world. Through law, through uh, moral, uh, morality, uh, through uh, the understanding of the mechanics of life and uh, it gives us, uh, that's why it's institutions and governments and things like that in the best of worlds where they are enlightened. Uh, so, here we have that, that spark, that you, your masculine, wanting this, the moves are uh, like serendipitic, uh, happening one after the other there. And the Pope here, under our temperance, I have the hangman. So uh, this could be like before, or like last month, beginning of the month. And here in March, the part of the process of the maturing of the divine timing for you to uh, actually get the benefits of that Ace of Pentacle that was in the sky here, uh, there's kind of that pause time. You had to look at things from a different angle for you to understand it. And by doing this, it gives you the opportunity here, Six of Swords, to move to calmer waters. So there was maybe something preventing you from uh, being able to actually manifest this uh, as much before, even if it was all aligned, um, because you had to kind of see it differently or embrace it differently. Uh, six, we have the Six of Swords here. I know that the Five of Swords here has been uh, readjusted. Um, so there's that movement. And under the Five of Swords, I have the Page of Swords in the world. So that, um, that could have been a karma. Uh, a karma is like a way you think that gave you certain results in life. Um, could have been just like a period or whatever but here page of sword there's an understanding five plus one because he has one sword here that makes six of sword the capacity to move to calmer waters to bring the wisdom of it to take our willpower because he does have a stick here and push ourselves our feminine and our inner child move forward uh, to a, a new state. So, and the world that tells me there's a cycle that finished. And here, that cycle, I have the Ten of Pentacles, I have Death, and I have the Two of Cups. So, the cycle that has been finished, finishing, may be a way that... Uh, you would have uh, sabotaged yourself before or that you would uh, keep um, some kind of... Um, there was something in, the, in a certain way that you were doing that that pentacle, you didn't have fully access to it. And it had to do with your mind and the way you saw things. So that transformation will actually change here, make you change ten of pentacle, new pentacle, end of a cycle, beginning, so you can bring the new cycle. And it has to do with how you share emotions, the mirrors in your life, two of cups. So let's clarify this for Leo.
I call upon the divine, I call upon the light, I call upon the Holy Spirit. Go upon my guides. Help me clarify the reason for Leo for the month of March for their better path. Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? What is that Ace of Pentacles? I have the Knight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So, what that tells me is that um, Knight of Cups, that solid thing was an offer made from the heart. There was probably love in it. But that was asking you to finish a, a, a ten of, your Ten of Pentacles in order to take that. So that could have been also um, change your perception on what is commitment. Okay? When I was talking about commitment. Uh, finish a cycle of one commitment to be able to take this new one. Uh, because the two of pentacles is when we have those two together, they don't live well together. One has to die for the other one to come. Um, uh, because you're, you're transitioning. This is part of your path. And um, if you don't do it, then you move from back and forward, back and forward putting you in a loop where your emotions are up and down, up and down. So uh, let's say that that offer, that Ace of Pentacles that came into your life, whatever it is, if it's a job, if it's a relationship, if it's whatever, it destabilized you at first. Uh, it's something that touched you, but it destabilized you emotionally because it asks for a decision. Um, temperance. Temperance, I have the King of Cups. Here is the King of Cups. The old merman. King of Cups and Temperance. So this is truly maturing of the emotions emotional maturity understanding how the waters work you're a being of fire you're a being of will power and here we're talking waters so for it not to become steam and all of that um, it asks for you to bring your fire in those depths of water and knowing exactly how you feel and having that maturity here. So that process, uh, because of the destabilization that happened and all that process that went inside of you or is going to go inside of you in the month of March, uh, here we are led to the Five of Swords. Show me the Five of Swords spirit. And it is the Seven of Wands. Here you see it's like David and Goliath. Uh, this is... I, I have so many voices against. But I know, I feel, I have my wand. I have climbed the hill. I see from a higher perspective now. And I am willing to fight for it. So... This is going to be your willpower overcoming um, maybe a mental defeatism or um, um, uh, 
the will for, to fight for it um, because you understand the emotional value of it um, and you are putting your bound your, your you're willing to fight for it you're going to be willing to fight for it now I think the counter arguments were probably a lot from you and now it's more like okay I get it and I'm going for it King of Wands for Leo and the Eight of Wands and if you have you encounter people that try to um, stop it then you, you will be you will have the fire to fight for it what the bottom whoop, 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 whoop. okay king of wands here I have um, the two of swords two of pentacle two of swords decision decision justice this is justice these are the recam cards from a nice illustrator uh, okay this is the page of Pentacle. Here we had the Ace of Pentacle, Page of Pentacle. So here we have that decision. Maybe it's, for some of you, it's even a decision that had to go to court, but it's a decision you had to take to uh, rebalance a situation that was unbalanced. Like this thing coming towards you, um, when justice is there, that means it's brought by the divine and it is to readjust the situation also. But there's a decision that needs to be taken. That, uh, um, that page that uh, grabs the, the coin, the coin isn't floating in the air, there the page is taking it. Make the the king, that masculine part of you, wants that, has desire for it. There's moves, there's serendipity, like I was saying. But there's like a, a, a decision that needs to be made. There's a lot of, ooh, here. Hangman, what did you have to understand and see? Hangman. So that's why the hangman is there. So that you can look at that from every angle even a point of view that uh, you haven't seen before because you you didn't have the eyes to see it uh, but now you will during the month of uh, March and it has to do with unconditional love with abundance with creativity ten of Pentacle you have to see ten of Pentacle from a different angle, like I was saying, and Ten of Pentacles, that's, you know, the whole family structure here. That's why often it's like engagement, something that lasts forever. You have to look at that from another angle in order to be able to grab this new opportunity. Here's the Queen of Pentacle and the Tree of Pentacle. So here, finishing a cycle, finishing a cycle, because we have the Page of Sword and the World, finishing a cycle so that you can hear Queen of Pentacle that's sitting on our throne, uh, knowing, uh, being able to take care. It's the mother, it's the wife, it's the one that can make do with what she has. She knows her value. She knows her worth. And with the Tree of Pentacle, this is building, um, growing, recognizing our worth and what we bring to the table and being able to do something with that Ace of Pentacle. Now we're actually building it. Knowing that we have what it takes, it is assured, it is uh, sitting on a throne, and we can start building it. 
Now, what is that Pope? Because Pope is also discernment. It's the keys. He gives the, the it's the, our discernment, our um, righteousness, morale that gives the keys to um, move forward. What is the Pope? The tower. So see, there was a commitment. It was a commitment. There was something in a way for the tower to have to bring on the Pope. It's because that was due and over. It was done. It was just like sitting there. Um, it's like, uh, you know, uh, if this was government, that got government was there for too long. Now it's time to make a change. Kind of thing like that. You know, and then the tower comes down. Because you have to reanalyze exactly what are you live, leaving in heritage. You know, you have built something um, for a while. The universe is bringing you a new seed. You don't know what to do with it because you have to have a new understanding on what is commitment, what is energy, long-term energy that is passed from one generation to another. What are you leaving behind? What is um, just? Six of Swords. So we have our five of swords, see, from five to six, and we have the eight of pentacle here. You have like a dwarf working. So this is movement forward in your mind, but also in how you will build and put your energy and work, seeing the results. You are now ready to actually apply yourself into creating the results here you were just juggling here temperance is trying and the hangman was trying to give you that uh, deep maturity emotional maturity to try and see the heritage what you have built right now that it's time to change it and this is what you are going to do during the month of march it's going to be different for all of you but it's with the sun and the empress, this this is about rising in vibration of love and abundance. Anyway, let's look at death. Death with the ten of pentacles again and the two of cups. Leo, death. Show me death. Wheel of Fortune. Here is the Wheel of Fortune. This transformation is going, and here I have the star. So, see, aligning you with your stars. Being in total harmony, integrity with what you're supposed to do. Those two cups that were brewing and brewing, brewing through this. At the end, you are in peace and you can pour it back into the collective, into the ground, so that what grows, grows from that new wisdom you have uh, acquired. The wheel of fortune, you have understood something so your reality can move. Your fortune can move again. This is what that transformation is about. So this is like a transformation. There you go, Mr. Black Buddy. Um, <laughs> this is like a transformation. In order for you to be able to allow and generate more. For some of you, it's going to be more love. Others of you, 
And when I say more love, it doesn't have to be like a new lover or whatever. It can be a new friendship. It can be it's just the mirrors in your life. Two of Cups will transform, will change. Like some of you, it's a relationship, but others of you, it's finding the right people that believe in your project and that will actually work with you and build with you and you will both mirror the same vision and 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 for that you had to leave maybe your job that you invested years in but it was over it was finished it was stagnating there and so uh, that transition you had to kind of see it to then trust yourself to uh, finish that cycle and go for what you truly uh, want and what the universe is sending you so you see it's going to apply itself uh, differently for uh, all of you so on that Leo's I'm going to wish you a beautiful month of March uh, thank you for commenting and sharing uh, the videos to uh, grow the channel uh, I read all the comments and uh, I know you like this guy uh, Mr. Black Buddy uh, yes he is a loving loving boy and so um, thank you also for the ones of you that gave donations it helps more than you think and on the new moon full moon I do a special ceremony um, uh, private readings the description is below and um, apart from that I'm gonna wish you a beautiful month of March spring it's the time to go back to life so on that see you next month and namaste bye bye